Hello flute players. So today we're going to work on expanding our three notes we know right now to five notes. We're going to work a little bit on tone quality and really making these notes control well with both our breath and our embouchure. And we're going to have a little bit of a writing exercise at the end with our first five notes where you're going to write me a melody. So just to remember, first thing you do taking your instrument out of your case, make sure that you can get a sound just out of the neck joint. As a reminder, to get the sound out of a flute, you kiss the hole right in the middle, roll away from it so your bottom lip is on the fat part of the flute, and blow at a 45 degree angle with your top lip hanging a little bit over your bottom lip, 45 degree angle with a poo, 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 poo. If you're having trouble, reset it. Take it off your mouth, move it around, make sure the hole is in the middle, right in the middle of your lips. Roll back. And try to get a consistent sound out of it. Once you have that, throw it back onto your instrument. Make sure it lines up with your keys, and we hold the flute with your thumb on the back key. One, first finger on the second key, middle finger on that key, third finger on that key, and in the right hand, one, two, and three in a row, and then your pinky. Remember the ones that are circled in blue are ones that our fingers don't live on. They'll touch them occasionally, but they are not where your fingers hang out. This side key with your pinky isn't pressed. These keys that don't really have pads on them are not pressed. And this key right at the top, these two, are not pressed. So it should look like this. See if this fits in camera. Right, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. Thank you. And your thumb there. So, our first note in your left hand is thumb one. So thumb in your first finger, B flat, and your first finger of your right hand down there, and your pinky. That's B flat. It sounds like Try to mimic that note. Your assignment last week was the first three notes, so this should be a little familiar. If your note sounds different than mine, make sure your fingers are in the right place. If this is the note coming out, you're blowing too fast. Slower air, warmer air, will give you a low B flat. Next, we learned about C. From your B flat, if you remove your left thumb and your first finger on your right hand and play that note, that is C. So B flat, thumb one, one pinky. C, left hand first finger, right hand pinky. Now your third note, remove your first finger on your left hand, thumb one, uh, thumb two three in your left hand, so no first finger, but thumb, middle finger, third finger, then one, two, three in the right hand. That is D. That is this one right here. You can see thumb two three, one, two, three which is the opposite of C, which is just one and pinky. Remember last week, if you don't, we talked about going back and forth from C to D. Moves all of your fingers. Every one of your fingers is moving during that because you're going from just first finger and pinky to thumb two, three, one, two, three, and then taking off your first finger and pinky. So those are your first three notes. As a warm up, let's get our metronome out. Four beats of each of them. Four beats of rest in between. Ready? B flat. Two. Ready, go. My fault, I went straight to a D. 
Start again. Two, B flat, go. Rest. Two, ready, C. Two, ready, D. There's our first three. Next, we're going to learn about E flat. E flat is an easy one after D. If you look at the diagrams, thumb, check, two, three, check, one, two, three, check, pinky. It is the exact same fingering as pinky, or the exact same fingering as D, except you add the pinky right here, right? So this is the only new key going from there to there. So get to your D, which is thumb two, three, one, two, three. And then with your right hand, this pinky, your right pinky, add the top key. Right? It's the simple, simple change right there. So that is E flat. We've got B flat, C, D, and E flat now. And the last note we're going to learn today is F. And F, if we look at the difference here, thumb stays down. We add the first finger in the left hand. So that second key on the left hand, remember we don't touch the first one. Two, three. So the whole left hand is working. All three fingers in your thumb are working. And your first finger is on the first key there. And then this is F. Thumb, one, two, three, one. Make sure you're leaving the ones blank that are supposed to be left blank. If you forget which ones are meant to be blank, look up here. So it's thumb, one, two, three, one. So now we have our five notes. Now, I'm going to set a metronome and where did my metronome go? There we are. So I'm going to set a metronome. Four beats of B flat, rest for four beats, four beats of C, four beats of D, four beats of E flat, four beats of F. One, two, Ready, go. Rest. Two. Ready, C. Two. Ready, D. Add your pinky E flat. Now to F, go. And there are your first four notes. Five notes, sorry. So five notes right there. Now, with those five notes, let's navigate over here. We operate in the treble clef. So let me get rid of all of this. The first note that we played was a B flat. So that B flat that we played lives right on the middle line here, right? We then played a C, then a D, then an E flat, and then an F. It's more than half of our first scale. What I want you to do for homework today, aside from practicing your long tones like we just did, I want you to write me an eight note melody using these notes. All quarter notes, so you don't have to worry about rhythm. I want eight notes, and we have to start on a B flat. So I'm gonna go Do and we have Do Re Mi Fa So. If you wanted to put them in characters like that, so fash. So we have Do Re Mi Fa. Actually, I don't want to do a scale. That's not interesting. So I'm gonna go 
I'm just making this up as I go, making sure my flat symbols are in the right place. And so I have B flat, D, E flat, F, C, D, F, B flat. Eight notes. I have used all of the notes at least once, which is part of the requirement, and it's Do, Mi, Fa, So, Re, no. Re, mi, so, do. Do, mi, fa, so. Re, mi, so, do. Let me play it. just the five notes we learned and quarter notes, no fancy rhythms here, I want you to write your own eight note melody. Has to start on B flat, it has to contain at least one of every five, one of the five notes we learned, and it cannot just be a scale. It can't just be. Right? Nothing that is a scale has to all be quarter notes, all be, um, Notes that we've learned, the five notes in the scale. Write your own melody. Notate it either by hand or in flat I.O., which we will talk about this week. And that is your homework. Make sure you're practicing 15 to 20 minutes a day at least with your flute, uh, making sure you start just with long tone exercises with a metronome at 60. The lesson we had last week continues every week. So those warm-ups we learned last week with the long tones, four beats each note, will continue every single time you take your instrument out of the case. Email me if you have any questions. Happy practicing.